Hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, Carlita. Thank you. You're here today, right? Very good. Welcome. Oscar. Hello, Oscar. How are you today, Oscar? Oscar? Okay, so uh, Leticia? Yes, teacher. Hello, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. A new class, right? Now let me see who else is in the, in the class. Okay. Let me check here, right? Mm -hmm. I'm watching the all the participants tonight. And okay, good. So we're going to start. Welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. I will uh, make an exercise. And after the exercise, I will take the attendance, right? Okay, so tonight I will share the PowerPoint presentation. Here we have. Okay, give me a second. Something is wrong with the presentation. I want to move something here. Give me a second. Eh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know what happened. Well, let's start, right? Well, uh, tonight we're going to have the topic how to use enough to modify adjective, right? But I don't know what happened. Give me, give me a second to correct this. Um, Okay, good. Now we're talking. Okay, good. The same, right? Well, anyway, so how to use enough to modify adjective, right? Good. So as uh, we always do, we're going to make a discussion before we start the, the class. And today is the last day to this topic, right? Uh, the topic is smoothies, right? Okay. Uh, Oscar, uh, can you stay with me tonight after the class for 10 minutes? Oscar Arnulfo? Ready, no problem. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you very much. You are in the agenda right now. Okay, thank you. Good, so let's start with the first question, right? Do you like animated movies? Uh, Vanessa Noemi. Hey, welcome, Vanessa. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, Vanessa, mm, do you like animated films, animated movies? Yes, I like it, teacher. Okay. Oh, I like. You, you believe those are only for kids? No, no I right? don't believe. Yeah, it's me for too. everyone that like. I love them. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, one of my favorite is Kung Fu Panda, you know, it's really ah, yes. nice. I like it's it funny. a lot. <laughs> okay, and let me see. From which countries do you like movies best? Oscar Anulfo, from which country? The United States is the better movies. Okay, those are the best movies, right? Yeah, you're right. Because the industry of movies in the United States is very developed, right? It's very complete. Yeah, the best movies. But also, there are other countries where they produce good movies. Do you know any other country, Oscar? Yes, uh, the other countries, 
this had new movie it is Mexico. Mexico, right. Yeah. Especially in the past, right? But today the movies are good, but in the past were more. In right? the past is the good movies. Mm -hmm. Mexico have a more good movies in the past. Yes. Yes, you're totally right. You're totally right. Aminda, uh, do you know other countries that produce movies besides Mexico and United States? Aminda? Other countries? Uh, maybe Argentina and in England, Inglaterra. England, you're right. Yes, yep. England. Uh, have you heard about the movies of India, Bollywood? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really famous, right? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Wendy. Have you heard about the movies of Spain? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I have seen some movies of Spain. Last time oh, they were Spain. mentioning uh, El Laberinto del Fauno, right? Do you remember? Someone in this class mentioned, I don't no. remember who. Uh, El Laberinto del Fauno. Have you, have you seen that movie? No. No, no. Not really. It's no. um, kind of strong, right? It's very strong. It's a good movie. Yeah, it's, it's a good movie. The, the, the director is Benicio del Toro. Benicio del Bull. Yes, very good. Uh huh. And the, there is another movie, but very famous. <clears throat> and this movie caused me a big effect on me, right? Uh, is El Orfanato. Yeah, have you heard about that movie, Arminda? Yes, I saw. Uh, I don't remember exactly the the date, but five years or ten years ago, I don't remember. But I saw the movie. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Arminda. Now, uh, Domingo. This question is for you, Domingo. And thank you for working and stay in the club, right? Very good. I like it. Uh, are awards, for example, Oscar, right? Uh, Cannes and other, other awards, you know, premios, awards. Are awards good indicators of film quality? Uh, yes, it's a uh, good indicator of the film quality, but... Uh, my opinion, I depend the the, the the this person is a uh, the, the 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 quality the the price. <laughs> Como depende de quién lo quién lo califique. Okay, very good. For example, the most famous are the Oscar, right? So when a movie uh, uh, the Oscar is the Oscar is um, the movies is uh, is good the 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 premium but is a uh, 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 global mm -hmm. the global creo que hay uno que es global, ah, the globes right, right? The, globes. the globes the globes ah the uh -huh, globes yes. it's another it's, word is uh, the um, money calificativo is good money calificativo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but this is an indicator of the quality. Chamba, your commentary. It's, Thank you, Domingo. Chamba, Mister, for, for me, it's, it's not a good indicator because the Titanic is a top opera for me, it's a bad movie. In your opinion, Chamba is about movie, and they receive yeah. an Oscar, right? Yeah. What about Forrest Gump? Forrest Gump received nah, many this Oscars. This is the best. This is the best movie. Uh huh. Okay. And Baby Gump Woman. Too. Baby Woman also received Oscars. Baby Woman. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, Independence Day. Mm. The movie is about a. Uh, so, so. The end of the world. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. From, from aliens, right? Aliens came to the. Okay. So, but 
for some of you, it's an indicator, but not a big indicator because sometimes uh, experts only, or maybe, well, in my, in my opinion, the, the industry is affected by corruption, in my opinion, right? So not all the time they, they, they give Oscars to the, or, or prizes or awards to the best movie, right? in my opinion, of course, right? Yeah. Good, thank you. Walter, in, in your opinion, uh, what do you like to eat or drink while watching a film? When you are in the movie theater, of course, right? Churritos Diana, of course. <laughs> okay, Churritos Diana, I like. Okay, the most popular in, in, in Chipes, right? <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah. What about you, Jorge Alfredo? When you watch a movie, what do you like to, to eat or drink? Jorge? Okay, so Rossi, ah, here, here, yeah. Jorge, what do you like to eat or, or, or to drink when you are watching a movie? Um, alguna película específica. No, 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 no. What do you like to eat? Yum, 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 yum. Or drink do, 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 while you are watching a film. <laughs> Uh, be honest, be honest, or <laughs> no, 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 beer, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I believe Jorge is likes to drink beer. <laughs> regia, regia, okay. regia. <laughs> a big, <regia. laughs> but then you, you don't enjoy the movie, Jorge. <laughs> How was the movie, Jorge? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, nice, thank you, thank you very much, Jorge. Good, and uh. Rosibel, oh, excuse me, Oscar, that's your princess. What's her name, Oscar? Yes, her name is Sofia. Sofia, like my, my daughter. My daughter's name is Sofia, oh, right? Hola. Hola. Hello. Hola, Sofia. Hi, Sofia. <laughs> my name is Dino. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pleasure, Sofia. Hello. It's a pleasure. <laughs> okay. And welcome to Sofia, to the class, right? Good. And um, I was making the question. I lost. I am lost. Sorry. Uh, well, uh, make the question to Debbie, please. Debbie, help me, please. Good evening. Okay. Hello. Good evening. Uh, do you mind reading subtitles? When you watch a foreign language film, for example, the movies in English, the movies in French, in 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 Russian, right? Or would you prefer it? To, would you prefer it dubbed it into Spanish? Dubbed it is uh, doblada, right? Doblada. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, I prefer double dub in Spanish. Dub it into Spanish. Yes. Right? I don't like read the. Yeah. The, sub the subtitles. Uh -huh. Or captions. Subtitle. Well, captions are more like uh, expressive, right? For example, when, when you when you hear a, a, a sound, this is for deaf people, right? But as sordos, the captions are more for deaf people. That, for example, uh, when they put music, they put the symbol of the music, right? Or uh, a shot, bang, bang, bang. But subtitles only express uh, what they are saying, right? Okay, Rosibel, what about you, Rosibel? Do you like subtitles and or dubbing? Uh, I prefer subtitles when subtitles. they put movies in English. Yeah, well, well sometimes because the original, the original voices are different, right? The, because it's taken from the original actor, right? Um, yeah. For example, Forrest Gump for me, I don't like Forrest Gump in Spanish, David, because my name is Forrest, Forrest Gump. <laughs> but in English is uh, my name is Forrest, Forrest Gump, <laughs> okay? Run, Forrest, run. So, <laughs> I mean, in English is, is good, right? But of course, everybody likes it. Or, or sometimes when people get- understand English anymore. You understand in English? When do you not understand English anymore? No, no, but, but listen, my recommendation is that you, you put the subtitle, but in English. 
No, in Spanish, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, that yes. Is best. Okay, thank you, David. So you, you agree, thank you. Very good, that's my opinion, of course, but, and it's my recommendation, right? We, we learn a lot. Okay, let's go to the next question, right? Uh, I, let me see, let me see. Okay, Oscar again, Oscar. Uh, does violence in films, uh, ah, does violence in films, and it's right. Okay, uh, the word and it is not, right? I keep say and, the mass, no, no exists, it's that palabra, and. So does violence in films inspire violence in real life? Oscar, what do you think? When the violence is the principal factor in the movie, and the and the any Jones uh, see the movie can be influenced the the, the the Jones for the violence in your house on the in the strip. Okay. Depend the, depend the movie. Depend the movie. Okay, it depends on the movie, right? But this Guns is a paradise. Is uh -huh. Guns, and, Guns and Paradise. I remember that movie, yes. Be the Guns and Paradise. Yes. Good yeah. song. Mm, eh, well, in my opinion, it's not a good movie to show in El Salvador, but well, anyway, right? Yes, despite the violence in the El Salvador. Movie. And all other movies. Eh, Oscar, remember yesterday we were talking about the movies of Quentin Tarantino, right? Those movies are really violent, right? Those are not for kids. They're for adults, yes. Okay, good. But this question is very deep. So uh, I'm gonna ask again to Walter, the same question, Walter. In your opinion, violence in films inspire violence in real life? What do you think? I think no, because no. Depend, depends on the or the or you thinking uh, about the movie, the age of the person to to watch the movie okay. is relevant to is relevant to okay. So in to your opinion, no. Thinking a group of back. Good. In your opinion, no. Okay. Good. I respect your opinion. That's okay. But. Particularly, I think that uh, especially children must not be exposed to violence, right? Because uh, they can, according to the psychologists, they can think the violence is acceptable, right? And one of my opinion is that uh, when they see that in the movies, the criminals don't receive penalty, okay? Or, or some heroes, you know, like Rambo or, or Spider-Man or, or Avengers, I don't know, they kill people and they, they are not punished for that. So they say, oh, I can kill anybody <laughs> and they are not going to punish me, right? But but that's for children, right? I guess in adults, yeah, we're strong enough to, <laughs> to get entertainment like that, right? Okay, good. I, I have two questions to go, but I will take the attendance right now. Uh, Trini? Hello, Trini. Not yet, okay. Uh, Aminda? Present. Good, thank you. Ana Maria? Present. Good, welcome Ana Maria. Uh, Carlos, Carlos William? Mr. Membreño Núñez? Not yet, okay. Claudia Guadalupe? Okay, thank you. Domingo? Present teacher. Good. Ever? Present. Good. Jose Roberto? Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Roberto. Carla? Carla Benazir? Ah, ok, Carla, let me see. Yo pensé que se iba a quedar con nosotros, Carla. Ok, bueno, está, está oyente también ahora. Ok, good. I understand, Carla. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good. And uh, Carla Vanessa? Present. Present, okay. 
No problem, Carla, no problem. I understand, it's a question of working. Don't worry, don't worry. Thank you to be a listener. Thank you to be a listener. Okay, uh, Leslie. Hello, teacher. Hey, hello, Leslie, welcome. You were working these days, right? I'm not teacher. What happened? No, teacher, I am Leti. Ah, no, teacher, Leticia. I am Leti. Leticia, okay, I heard you say. I can't Okay, oh, okay. No, no, I mean, I am happy to you, uh, with you, Leticia, sorry, excuse me. But the thing is that uh, lately, maybe she has some problem with the, with the internet, let me see. No, no messages in the chat, okay. But Leticia, yes, happy to, to have you here in the class, Leticia. Mariano? Thank you. Okay. Mariano? Present teacher. Good, Present good. teacher. Welcome, welcome. Oscar Arnulfo? Present. Rosemary? Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Rosibel? Present teacher. Yvette? Sonia Yvette? Present teacher. Good, welcome. Vanessa Noemi? Good. Happy to have you in my class, Vanessa. Walter Omar? Walter? Walter? Algo pasó ahí, pero ahí está la cámara, así que le vamos a poner asistencia. Wendy Karina? Wendy? Present. Good, good. Miriam, Miriam Veronica, okay. Hi. Hey, hello, Miriam. Miriam, yes. Welcome back. Qué bueno tenerlo otra vez. Welcome. Okay, Vicky, Vicky Dinora. Hello, Vicky. No está todavía Vicky. Yes, okay. Pero Miriam sí, verdad? Okay, Chamba. Chamba. Present, Mister. Good, good. Debbie. Present. And Jorge Alfredo. Present, Mister. Good. Thank you, Jorge. You, you don't miss Present the classes teacher. anymore. Oh, I am Trini. Trini, hello, Trini. Ese micrófono yeah. no está dando problemas, Trini. <laughs> o es el internet, Trini. El internet Eva. Uh, yes. Both. Both. Both things. Okay, but thank you to continue fighting. <laughs> okay, Carlos, Carlos William. No está Carlos ahora. Yes. Eh, and Vicky tampoco está, ¿verdad? Vicky? No. Okay. Good. Good. So let's continue, right? We have the next question. Let me see. Aquí no le hemos preguntado. Vamos a ver. Trini. Trini. Do you think age restrictions for films are effective? For example, movies that are not permitted for children, right? Because they contain sex and violence. Do you think this is, is effective? Yes or no, Trini? Um. Do you understand? Yes. The, yes, it's effective. Okay, good, 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 good. And Ana Maria, in your opinion, the same question. Do you think mm. age restriction is effective? Is good? Yes or no? Yes, I think that is okay. Good. What about Ana Maria? If these restrictions are in the house, for example, right? For example, if you have Netflix. Or, 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 or cable, right? Uh, claro, Tigor, you know? And, but you're not at home and your children are alone, right? So you, do you think it's, it's a good method to restrict the movies? Yes, I think that is okay. Okay, uh, it depends on the education, right, Ana Maria? Ana Maria, yes, sorry to ask you, do you have children? No, I don't no, have no, children. Yet. Oh, well. <laughs> but in the future, I imagine you're going to get restriction, right, to, to your children. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, of course, right? <laughs> okay, good. And the last question, uh, this is for, let me see, Ever, Ever, right? No, I'm Ever. Okay, Ever, 
What film do you want to watch these days, Ever? Uh, this day, I don't, I don't have uh, one particular film that I want to watch, but I want one series. Which one? And uh, Stranger Things. I want to oh, see. Oh yes, I, Netflix, I, right? I hope. Yes, I see. Watch the in the in the weekend. Somebody told me it's a good series. It's a good series. I heard, but I, I haven't seen it yet. Yes, but I I heard too because this is my my. My, okay. motivo. Uh, my, my motive, uh -huh. my motive, my motive, my inspiration my motive to watch. Mm -hmm. Okay, but somebody told me you wanted to see Minions. Is it true? <laughs> no, no, right? <laughs> yeah, well, Minions three, you know. Okay. Um, no, no, for no. me, for me, no. No. <laughs> okay, so the last question for Wendy. What movies do you recommend to the group, Wendy? What movies do you recommend that we can see in Netflix and in the movies? Yeah, I recommend one movie is from Spain. Uh -huh. um, the name is, I don't know how to say in English, but- Don't say in Spanish because it's in Spanish. In Spanish, yeah. Uh, the name is Contratiempo. Contratiempo. I don't know if anyone know about this movie, but it's so good. Buenísima. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> repeat the name, sorry, yes. repeat the name. Contratiempo. It is Contratiempo. In it's in Netflix or in, yes. in the theater. Contratiempo. Okay, I will call Yeah. It. It's a okay. very good, very good movie. Let me see. I want to see it, right? I will recommend yeah. <laughs> another movie to the class. Uh, the name is Sueños de Libertad. Sueños de Libertad. Is it in Netflix, Netflix too? Sorry? It is in Netflix too? It's in Netflix, yes. What is the name? Uh, it, received, uh, it received an Oscar, Sueños de Libertad. Give me a second, okay. give me a second. Sueños de Fuga, sorry, Sueños de Fuga. <laughs> Sueños de Fuga. In English is the Sean Down Redemption, something like that. Sean Down Redemption in English, right? It will, uh, I'm taking notes. <laughs> yes, it's Sueño de Fuga. Okay, they are here in my house. This is one of our favorite movies. So I am asking my wife. Okay, don't worry. It's, but that's uh, Sueño de Fuga. I recommend that. Hmm? Ah, okay. And then we have other movie, uh, Constantine. Yvette is recommending Constantine, yes. Okay, hey, this is a good movie. Oh. Morgan Freeman. Ah, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman is the actor in Sueño de Fuga. Morgan Freeman, yes. And that is another movie, give me a second. Eh, el pasillo, el pasillo verde, la vía verde, sorry, la vía verde with Tom Hanks. It's a good movie, of course. Okay, Aminda, can you give us another recommendation and we finish? Any good movie that mm. you know, do you know? Of course, movie, listen, movie. remember the recommendations are that you watch the movies in English, right? <laughs> Aminda? Okay, maybe it's, uh, this movie is special for, for, for women. It's oh, no. Bridget Jones' Diary. Ah, yes. There are like three movies like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Only... <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So that's it, right? We're finished with the discussion. Now, let's go to the unit number two, right? It's the same, the same uh, topic from yesterday, right? Analyze the components of the product and price strategy, right? Product and, and price. Remember, we are analyzing the four P's, right? Product, price, place, and promotion. Place is the same like distribution, right? Distribution. So today we're going to continue with product and price, right? Okay. 
And we're going to analyze a topic. The topic is the use of enough. Suficiente, right? Suficiente. Enough. Enough, yes. How to use enough to modify adjectives. So this topic has two parts. The first part is adjectives. The second part is nouns. So we can use enough with adjectives and we, we can use enough with nouns. Today, we are going to learn how to use enough with adjective, right? Good. So, Ever, can you help me read in the first part, please? Okay. What, what is enough? Uh -huh. Enough as an adverb means to the necessary degree. A note follows the adjective is modified. It can be used both in positive and negative sentence. Thank you, thank you, Ever. Oh, I can say in satisfactory, positive, right? Or no satisfactory, negative, right? Okay, so the necessary degree, yeah? like in Spanish, you know, suficiente, lo suficiente. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's go to the example, right? Wendy, can you read the first example? Sure. The look of your online course from page is not professional enough. Thank you. And professional is what? Uh, professional is what? Uh, Debbie? It's a noun, it's a verb, it's an occupation, it's a preposition, it's an adjective. What is professional, Debbie? Mm. For example, you can say, Debbie is a professional woman, right? So what is professional? So adjective. Adjective, good, adjective. And according to whatever read, it says that and no follows, sigue, right? The adjective it modifies. So in this case, after the adjective professional, we have enough, right? Good. Vanessa Noemi, can you read the next example, please? The package is user-friendly enough. Good. So, Vanessa, user-friendly is an adjective, yes or no? Yes. Yes, of course, right? And it's a compound word, right? It's una palabra compuesta, compound word. Sometimes uh, some compound nouns or some compound words are, you know, together. For example, classroom, classmate. Huh? Uh, so those are compound nouns. And some nouns or some adjective in this case, right, uh, have an, a hyphen, un guion, right, hyphen. But it's only one word. Pero se es considerada como una sola palabra, right? In this case, user friendly. It's one word or one adjective in this context, right? Okay, Jorge. How do you spell um, lo que dijo el compound. guión? Compound. No, no. No, no. How, half, no sé qué dijo. Half. Uh, el guión. Hyphen. Ah, Pero hyphen. Que, hyphen is guión, guión, guión corto. ¿Cómo se escribe? Eh, H, Y, P, H E N H I sorry H Y P H E N hyphen. You got it? You got yes. it? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Hyphen, right? As I say, the sometimes compound words or in this case compound adjective have hyphen, but not all, not all, right? Not todos. Okay, good. So, uh, Jorge, can you read the next sentence, please? Their product design is not competitive enough for a high end market. Okay, for a high end market. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Jorge. Uh, Vanessa, yes, it's correct, Vanessa. That's totally correct. Okay, now. Thank you, Jorge. So again, competitive, competitive or competitive, right? Enough. Competitive is another adjective, right? Another adjective. Okay. And the last one, right? The last sentence is, uh, Oscar, please, can you read the last sentence? Or after say, service are good enough to improve the 
Positioning. Positioning, positioning of our product. Good. Thank you. So good, of course, is a, another adjective, right? Another adjective. Good. So as you can see, all of these sentences are uh, using enough, right? Some are negative. For example, the first one, not professional. Not professional. It's negative, right? So it means that uh, uh, the negative is a negative situation. It's not a something acceptable or satisfactory, right? It's not satisfactory, right? But the next one, user friendly enough. Yeah, it's it's good, right? Uh, number three, not competitive enough. It's no es lo suficientemente competitivo, right? Negative, right? It's negative, of course, right? And good enough in this case is is positive, is is satisfactory, right? Good. So this is the use of enough with adjectives. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Carlos, welcome, Carlos. Le vamos a poner la asistencia, Carlos. Yes, thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Vicky, todavía no, ¿verdad, Vicky? Y Leslie, son la... bueno, casi estamos todos. Congratulations. Hey, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> okay, let's continue, right? If no questions. Now, this is the, the grammar structure, right? How to use enough to modify adjectives. Uh, here we have some positive or, or satisfactory sentences, right? In this case, we have, uh, for example, uh, my product is good enough. So we can use the verb to be, right? The adjective and the word enough. This is when it's positive or satisfactory, right? El producto es lo suficientemente bueno. It's good. I have a good product, you know? Okay. And the competence, your product isn't, you know, negative, right? Or you can say aren't, depending if it's plural, right? And then we have the adjective and the word enough. Right? Good. Do you understand? Satisfactory, satisfaction is good, is right, is professional, is nice. No satisfactory, isn't or aren't, right? Good enough. Okay? Good. Let's continue. Let's continue. Sometimes you can use an infinitive to add more information. It's not absolutely necessary. It's not absolutely necessary. But sometimes if you want to give an extra explanation, right, you want to add more information to your idea, you can add an infinitive. So you say, my product is good enough to sell, right? So after enough, we have an infinitive that is the preposition to plus the base form of the verb, right? Uh, for example, we can say, uh, pupusas in Oloquilta are good enough to eat, right? Um, uh, chuco is delicious enough to eat with en français, right? <laughs> okay, so that's it, right? So we have verb to be, is or are, right? Or, or am. I can say I am good enough. <laughs> you can say that, of course. So verb to be. The adjective, right? And, and the word enough. And then an infinitive you want to give uh, some extra information. Good. Any extra question? Any question about this? Remember, this is grammar, right? Grammar is complex. And there are many situations that can happen with grammar, right? No questions? Sure, sure. Teacher, if, uh, Tell me. Can, Repeat. Can, uh, my question is, is uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The subject could be whatever. Or it, it could be a complete sentence, right? 
Understand? Uh, no, no necessarily one subject and then good enough. No, 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 no. It could be whatever. Uh, but normally, of course, we, we show a subject, my product, the, the houses, my friends, the doctors, Maria, Juan, Pedro, Firulais, Misifus, etc., etc. All pronouns, he, she, they, we, uh -huh. could be whatever. The subject could be whatever. Understand? Okay. okay. Good. Thank you. Good question. Any other question? Okay, good. Now let's continue, right? It's time to work. It's time to work, right? Now I'm going to start with Jorge. Hello, Jorge. Now, listen, it says, how about this? Should we buy it for your sister? No, it isn't. Oops, sorry, excuse me. Lo vamos a a poner para poder escribir aquí. Ok, yes. Ah, Jorge. Sister. Pretty, in this case, is an adjective, right? Pretty. And you're talking about a gift. Jorge, thank you. Jorge, thank you, right? Um, no termino comprender la bien. Okay, I will explain. Pre, 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 I will, pre, don't worry, Jorge. Wait, give me a second. I want. I need to explain to Jorge, please. Sorry, sorry, but I need to explain to Jorge. Jorge, eh, when we use enough, cuando usamos enough, que, queremos decir que algo es lo suficientemente bueno o bonito o grande o corto o caliente, etcétera, etcétera, o no lo es. Yes. So uh -huh. when we use enough is lo suficientemente, ¿sí? Lo es o no lo es lo suficiente, ¿ok? Good. And then in this case, oh, sorry. And we use the adjective. Primero ponemos el adjetivo, Jorge. And uh -huh. then we use the word enough. Y después ponemos la palabra enough. Ok. Now, in this exercise, Jorge, I need you put the adjective pretty. And after that, you're going to put enough, right? Ok, vamos a ver, Jorge, a ver si puede, vamos a ver. ¿Y dicen? Um, no, it is, um, um, Está rompiendo el hielo, Jorge, así um, que tranquilo, tranquilo. No, it is, um, uh, Voy... Okay, you have to use the adjective in the parentheses. Tiene que usar el, el adjetivo que está en parentheses. My vision pretty. Pretty, uh huh. To. Okay, go back, go back. Let's go back. Good enough. Go oh. Good enough. So in this case, pretty. Um, enough. Pretty enough. <laughs> No. Hello. <clears throat> Good, thank you. Now, excuse me. Give me a second here. Okay, good. Now, everybody, please repeat after me. Repeat after me, everybody. How about this? How about this? Should we buy it for your sister? Should we buy of your sister? No, it isn't pretty enough to buy. No, no it isn't pretty enough to buy. I want something nicer. Good, now, uh, Chamba and... And David, please, Chamba letter A, David letter B. Come on. The number two. Number one. Number one. How about this? Should we buy it for your sister? No, it isn't pretty enough to buy. I want something nicer. Good, thank you. Rosemary? 
I have a question. In this case, you use the adjective in a simple way, or you can use it prettier. No, no, like no, 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 no. Use it a simple way? Yeah, in a simple way, in a simple form, right? Because if you use prettier, you're making a comparison with something else. And in this case, it's not necessary. No, no. Only the simple verb, right? The simple adjective, excuse me. The simple adjective, right? Thank you. Good question. Good question. Thank you. Now let's continue with number two, right? Number two. So, uh, Miriam, please. Can you help me, Miriam? Do you think this rug is too small? No, it is great. I think it's. Miriam? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, the... number two. Do you understand? Uh, I think it's bigger. Uh huh. B. B. Um. Okay, I will go to the to the presentation. Don't worry, Miriam. Uh, okay, good. It says good. Ah, yes, yes. You got the, the answer. Yes, you got the answer. Good. I mean, big. Big enough. Big enough. Congratulations, right? So, uh, Yvette, your question, Yvette? I'm sorry. Ah, sorry. I have a question. No, no. You have a question? No, 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 no. Okay, good, good. Thank you, thank you. Anybody else? I saw here it says, dos personas levantaron la mano. Eh, Sonia y Beth, y alguien más levantó la mano. ¿Quién más? Sorry. Anybody else? No, okay, good. So repeat after me, please. Microphones off. Microphones off, please. Repeat after me. Do you think this rock is too small? Do you think this rug is too small? No, it's great. I think it's big enough. I think it's big enough. Now, please, uh, Wendy and Walter. Wendy, your letter A, Walter, your letter B. Okay. Do you think this rug is too small? No, it's great. I think it's big enough. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, number three, please. Uh, Vanessa Noemi. Number three, please. Mm. Why are you sending that steak back to the chef? It's an expensive meal and the steak just isn't good enough. Good enough. Oops. Good enough. Right. And who do is with lowercase letter? Good enough. Right. Thank you. Now, uh, this is for you. Yes. Good. Now, everybody, repeat after me. Microphones off. Microphones off. Why are you sending that steak back to the chef? Why are you sending that steak back to the chef? It's an expensive meal. And this steak just isn't good enough. Like Salvadorians say, right? It's un pellejo, right? <laughs> no sirve a carne. Okay. And this steak just isn't good enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, Yvette, please, letter A, Rosibel, letter B. Um, what, what is my letter, please? Uh, Yvette, letter A, Rosibel, oh. letter B. Number three. Okay. Why are you sending that stay back to the chef? 
is an expensive meal, and this steak just is not good enough. Okay, steak, right? Steak. Steak. Ooh, ooh, steak, right? Okay, so imagine it's, it's a very expensive meal, you know, o sea. Okay, you know, from rich people, I imagine, right? Okay, let's go to number number four, right? Number four, uh, Rosemary, please. Can you give me the answer for number four, Rosemary? Okay, how was your vacation? To tell you the truth, it just wasn't relaxing enough. Relaxing enough, right? Good. Everybody, repeat after me, please. Microphones off. How was your vacation? To tell you the truth, it just wasn't relaxing enough. To tell you the truth, it just wasn't relaxing enough. Good. Now, practice the conversation. Uh, Oscar, please. Letter A. Mariano, letter B. Okay, how was your vacation? To tell you the truth is just once wasn't relaxing enough. Very good, thank you. And the last one, right? Number five, only the answer, only the answer. Leticia, can you tell me the answer for number five, please? Cold is the adjective. Cold is the adjective. Okay. Um, yes, please. It isn't uh, cool enough. Cold enough. Cold enough, right? Okay. Thank you, everybody. Repeat after me, please. Thank you very much. This is for the correct answer, right? Thank you. Now, everybody, repeat after me. Would you like more ice in your water? Would you, would you, would you like? Would you like more ice in your water? Yes, please. You don't say yes, 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 please. It isn't cold enough. It isn't cold enough. Good. And we are going to practice Carla Vanessa, please. And Jose Roberto. Okay. Would you like more ice in your water? Yes, please. Is isn't uh, cold enough? That's it, right? Good. Any question? No. Okay. Continue. Satisfactory or no satisfactory? Right. Good. So you're going to tell me one by one if you consider these sentences are satisfactory, positive, right, or no satisfactory, negative, right? Good. So. Um, let me see. Eva, please. Number one, read and tell me. Satisfactory or no satisfactory, right? Okay. These bases aren't cheap enough. It is not satisfactory. Thank you. Number two. Uh, Domingo, please. Domingo? Yes, me. Number two, satisfactory or no satisfactory? Those uh, are nice now. It's satisfactory. It's satisfactory. 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 Let me try it. Like the Rolling Stones say, satisfaction. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. 
Thank you, uh, Domingo. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Carlos, please, number three. My phone isn't new enough. This sentence is not satisfactory. Good. Number four. Uh, Ana Maria, please. Number four. Mm. Uh, satisfactory. Okay. Read the sentence, Ana Maria. This pio pio. This chicken is salty enough. Salty enough, right? Thank you. Satisfactory. Oops. <laughs> Satisfactory. Sorry. <laughs> okay, number five. Uh, Aminda, please, number five. Okay. Uh, our dessert weren't sweet enough. Uh, no satisfactory. No satisfactory. Not satisfactory, right? Good. Uh, I mean, in this case, is desserts, right? Say desserts. Okay, desserts. Dessert, yeah, because dessert. Let me see. No, no, no. Sorry, excuse me. Desserts, yeah. Dessert because it's postre. Uh huh. Yes, dessert. Right. <laughs> okay. Dessert. Sorry. I... <laughs> okay. Also, no, no. Desserts is the food, right? And dessert is the you know the the Kalahari, the the Gobi desert, yeah. Okay. Texas desert, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Desserts, desserts, right? Okay. Dessert, thank you. Dessert. Okay. Thank you. Number six. Uh, Trini? Satisfaction. Not satisfaction. Huh? Give me a Depends. second. Depends. <laughs> no, okay. No, no, but because if you say that's for me, that refrigerator is small enough. For me, it's satisfactory. Okay, good. It's satisfactory. Yes, of course. You're expressing that it's okay because. Uh, if it, it depend if you live in a small house, right? For example, in my case, I my house is a small, right? So I I prefer a small refrigerator, right? Not very minion style, no, no. But you know, so this is satisfactory. Number seven, please, Jorge, please. Can you help me with number seven? The local. In, in, in fast and now. Satisfactory or no satisfactory? Um, first, no. Satisfactory. Okay, when you say eh, el bus no es lo suficientemente rápido para mí. Mm, satisfactory. No satisfactory, right? Okay. Satisfactory. Sorry, satisfactory or no satisfactory? No satisfactory. No satisfactory. Okay. Para los que viajan en la 42, no satisfactory. Okay. Very good. And now number eight. David, please. The price are low enough. No satisfactory. Good. And to finish, Chamba. Mister, can you repeat? Number nine. Number nine. Satisfactory or not satisfactory? The dress code isn't formal enough. For me, it's satisfactory. When you say, mm, el código de vestimenta en esta compañía no es tan formal. Como yo quisiera, right? 
Yeah. So, right. Satisfactory or not satisfactory? Satisfactory for me. Mm. No, 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 it's not. Satisfactory. No, it's not satisfactory. satisfactory. Yes. yes, no satisfactory, right? Okay, do you understand the idea? So, who wants to tell me the conclusion? When is satisfactory and when is not satisfactory in general? Volunteers? Conclusion, logical conclusion. When you use verb to be in negative. Uh -huh. When the sentence is in negative, no satisfactory, right? Eh, no es lo suficientemente chiquito, suficientemente caliente, suficientemente grande. No es, para mí no, no estoy satisfecho, you know? And when it's affirmative, yeah, right? Satisfactory, satisfactory, you see? Son los, para mí las alfombras son suficientemente grandes, you know? La refri es lo suficientemente pequeña, así la quiero yo, you know? So that is satisfactory, you know? So negative verb to be, no satisfactory. Affirmative verb to be, satisfactory, right? Okay, let's go to another sent, another exercise. But before to go to this exercise, eh, attendance, right? Trini? Present. Aminda? Present. Ana Maria? Present. Carlos? Present. Claudia Guadalupe? Ok, ahí está el mensaje. Very good. Domingo? Present. Ever? Present. José Roberto? Present. Carla Benazir? Okay, thank you, Carla. Eh, Carla Vanessa? Present. Laisley? Present. Oh, Laisley o, o Leticia? Laisley. Laisley. Hello, Laisley. Okay. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Bienvenida de nuevo. Excellent. Very good. Ahora sí, Leticia. Leticia? Present teacher. Good, oh, good, thanks. Es que se parecen las voces. <laughs> ok, good. Mariano? Mariano? Present okay. teacher. Ok, good, thank you, Mariano. Present teacher. Good. Oscar? I'm here. Thank you. Rosemary? Present teacher. Good. Rosibel? Present teacher. Sonia Ivet. Present. Vanessa Noemi. Present teacher. Walter Omar. Present teacher. Wendy. Present. Vicky Dinora. Vicky. Miriam. Miriam Verónica. Ok, no sé qué pasó con Miriam, pero si se vuelve a conectar, me, me avisa. Eh, ¿Chamba? ¿Chamba? I'm here, mister. Good. ¿Debbie? Present. Good. ¿En Jorge Alfredo? Present. Excelente, Jorge. Congratulations. Ya no ha faltado clase. Lo felicito, ¿verdad? Ok, thank you very much. Thank you. Ok, good. Let's continue, right? Now, read each sentence and choose a logical statement that follow it. In the sentence, you are going to use uh, enough, enough, right? Understand? Good. So for this, um, volunteer, right? Volunteers. For example, number one, your car is okay. If your car is okay, there are many possibilities, right? It means that the car is good, the car is, is fast, the car is... It's nice, the car is new. That is ready and all. Sorry? Again, repeat please. Uh, the car is ready and all. The car is good enough. Mm. 
my goodness. Excelentoso, right? Yes, the car is good enough. Next one, please. Volunteers, hands up, please. Mm, teacher, uh, uh -huh. could be my vacation uh, wasn't uh, funny enough. My vacation wasn't funny enough. Okay, very good. Excellent, also. Okay, number three. Volunteers? Could be my new camera is useful enough. My new camera is, sorry, repeat, is useful. Useful, right? useful. Uh -huh. Uh, useful enough. I don't know if it's the color. No, no, that's okay. Right? Perfect. I mean, it's your own idea, right? Congratulations, Vanessa. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. This printer is slow. Volunteers? Teacher? Uh huh. Yes. Mm. This printer isn't isn't fast enough. Isn't fast enough. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very good. Ah, oh, wait. Excellent, also, right? Good. Como soy un poquito sorbete, eh, si quieren siempre díganme, eh, teacher, eh, soy yo, Chamba, soy yo, Oscar, soy yo, Wendy, etcétera, etcétera, ¿ok? O me levanta la manita, ¿ok? Good, porque a veces me pierdo ahí con, lo, con la, lo, la voz, ¿verdad? Ok, now number five. These pants are too short. Too short. Vol volunteers? Teacher, ever. Uh -huh. Who? Ever. Okay, ever. These pants? These are... pants. Aren't large enough. Mm. Okay, uh, large in Spanish is grande, right? Understand? Oh. Largo is long. Uh, long. What do you want to say? Large or long? Long. 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 Okay, good. Yeah, because remember in the in the chairs it says small, medium, and large. It is a, a false cognate, it says, right? A false cognate. Do you understand what is a false cognate, Eva? No. Okay. Sorry. Sorry to commercial. Perdón por el comercial. A cognate is a word that is similar in one language and in, a, in the other language. For example, internacional, international. So that's a cognate. Other example is uh, guitar, guitarra, right? Piano, piano. Okay. Uh, those are cognates, cognates, okay? And false cognate es una palabra que parece que es, pero no es, you know? <laughs> que no le den gato por liebre. <laughs> so, for example, uh, the word capacitation. How do you say capacitation in Spanish? Capacitación o entrenamiento? No, sorry. Capacitation doesn't yeah. exist, right? Es una palabra training. que no existe en inglés. No existe la palabra capacitation. La palabra es training. training. Como usted dijo también, but training. Training, ¿ok? Entonces la palabra capacitation es, es un false cognate. ¿Ok? Other one is actually. How do you say actually in Spanish? Realmente. Realmente, ajá. Uh -huh. But some people can say, ah, actually is actualmente, you know. So actually is a false cognate. 
cognate, C-O-G-N-A-T-E, cognate, okay? It's a false cognate. The same happened with large, ever? Large, so you say, ah, largo. No, no, no. Large is a false cognate. In a good Salvadorian, right? In buen Salvador, hay una cascarita. No se van a caer ahí, ¿verdad? No se van a deslizar ahí en esa cascarita. It's not, right? Large, in this case, is, is big. It's a synonym of big, right? So thank you very much. Ever, congratulations. Excelentoso, right? And let's go to number six. Number six. I don't like that restaurant. Volunteers, please. The restaurant. Uh huh. Name, name, name. Aminda. Aminda. Thank you, Aminda. The restaurant. Okay. The restaurant isn't good enough. Isn't good enough. No sé por qué me hace mayúscula G. Isn't good enough, right? The restaurant isn't good enough. Excelentoso. Thank you, Aminda. Next one, please. Number seven, and we finish. Volunteers, raise your hands. Okay. Tell me my Gracias. name is. Sorry? My name is Carlos. Carlos. <laughs> Mr. Bembreño. No, I, I recognize your voice, Carlos. Su voz sí la reconozco, Carlos. Es pausada, okay. así bien. De, de, de locutor, <laughs> Carlos. Okay, come on, go ahead. Okay. The prices in that store are high enough. The prices in, in that, that store, store, oops, that store are, are high enough. Okay. Wait a minute. Carlos, let's think about it. Pensemos un poquito en la respuesta, ¿verdad? Porque uh, a casi nadie le gustan lo, lo, las, los precios altos, ¿verdad? Aún a los ricos a veces protestan por, <laughs> por los precios altos. So, so you say, uh, the prices in that store are high enough. What are you saying, uh, Carlos? What are you saying? ¿Qué está diciendo ahí? Que para mí no son suficientemente altos. Tienen que ser más altos los precios. Yes? Ah. Yes. Understand? Yes. Okay, so come on. Rearrange the sentence. Hay que real, quizás cambiándole el adjetivo. Mm, low. Low, right? Very good. Low. Excellent. Good reaction. So, and are or aren't? Aren't. Aren't. Very good, right? Entonces sería los precios en esa tienda no son lo suficientemente bajos para mí. Entonces no, no es buena esa tienda. So you say the price in that store aren't low enough, right? Good. Any questions so far? Class? Right. Okay. Thank you. Oh, for you, Carlos. Thank you very much for your participation. Thank you. Good. So if no questions, how to use enough? Sorry. Sorry. Como dijo que se llamaban los false connections. False cognate. Lo voy a escribir por aquí. Oh, oh, por aquí lo voy a escribir. Sí, false cognate. Uh, I have a question. I'm Wendy. False cognate, right? Uh, I repeat the idea, right? False cognate sure. are words that are similar in Spanish, but they have a different meaning, right? Understand? Like embarrassing, right? Embarrassing, yes. Emba embarrassing. Uh -huh. Okay, I will explain this. Embarrassing, you know. Uh, you know that uh, in years, women have suffered a lot of discrimination, right? Even in El Salvador, in the, in the 30s, I guess, I'm not sure in the 30s, uh, women were not permitted to vote, imagine? And also the salaries, the salaries are better for men than for women, right? So it's part of the discrimination. So in the past, when a woman get pregnant, because the, the exactly word is pregnant, right? In English, 
in Spanish, it sounds very offensive. You know, when you say, ah, la, la señora está preñada, right? It's offensive in Spanish, but in English, it's totally acceptable. So uh, when, when a woman in the past, in, in Spanish, people say, ah, estaba embarazada, bro. Estaba en una situación embarazosa, problemática, penosa. Ah, una mujer embarazada es algo vergonzoso, right? In the past, of course, not in the present. <laughs> in the past. So that's why in the present people say, ah, la señora está embarazada, right? But the appropriate word is not embarazada. The appropriate word is, sorry, so offensive, but it's preñada, right? That is the correct word. So when you say embarrassing, like David said, right? If you say, ah, embarrassing, ah, que está embarazada, está esperando un bebé. No, no, no. False coming. This is a false coming, right? Embarrass means apenado, embarazoso, or embarrassing, right? Avergonzado. Avergonzado, yes. Okay? Entonces, esa palabra, bueno, ahora que está de moda la, el lenguaje inclusivo, ¿verdad? Me reservo mi opinión. Pero eh, en el caso, ahí sí, en esa palabra estaría de acuerdo yo que desapareciera, ¿verdad? Que la gente ya no dijera dar a luz o estar embarazado, porque um, es un poco discriminativo, en mi opinión, of course, right? Pero no me preocupes, es parte de nuestro lenguaje. Other example I say is actually. Le voy a poner uno aquí, miren. Aprovechando el espacio ahí. Actually. Este es un false comment. Oops. Actually. Actually. So people say, ah, actualmente. Right? No, no. Actually is in fact. In effect. The truth is, uh, you know, actually is in verdad, you know. So that is a false cognate. This is otro false cognate, right? Okay. Other one is traduction. Traduction. The traduction of no, it's and esa palabra no existe in English. La palabra is translation. Translation, right? Never say traduction and also, right? The word is translation, right? So it's a false comment. Understand? Okay, perdón por los comerciales que no están. No tienen que ver con el tema, pero... <laughs> ok. Good. Now, let's go to this. Sorry, algo hice aquí. No sé qué hice, pero creo que está. Ok, now. So, let's go to this, right? In this case, I will take... Uh, today, uh, it's not Dudley, but Dino is going to help me. Dino, say hello. Dino is going to choose somebody in the list, right? Come on, Dino, help me. Okay, thank you, Dino. Domingo. Okay, Domingo, you are the big, uh, sorry, you are the student. <laughs> you are the student who's going to help me, Domingo. So listen, uh, I will go to this before. Give me a second here, right? In this, uh, pay attention, Domingo. In this sentence, it says, my product is good enough. So after the adjective and enough, we have an infinitive, right? The infinitive is the preposition to plus the verb in the base form of the verb. So you said to sell, to invite, to go, to etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right. Now, Domingo, in these sentences, they are incomplete. So you are going to complete the idea with your personal idea, right? Okay. Do you understand, Domingo? So, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, he his third cannot a uh, to uh, To, 
It's a verb, right, Domingo? Tiene que ser un verbo. Uh, uh, sí. Tú sí. Tú sí, ¿no? Okay. Ok. Uh, no. yeah, That's okay. Uh, yeah, I consider he's tall enough to see, right? To see hi. <laughs> okay, good, good, thank you. Now, okay. next victim, sorry, excuse me again, the next student, excuse me. <laughs> okay, the next student, Dino. Okay, Wendy. Okay, um, he isn't strong enough to push the stone to push the stone like this i think okay. yes okay that's nice he isn't strong enough to push the stone right thank you number three you know leticia guadalupe Number three. Number three. Yeah. Do you know what is thirsty, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Um sitting up. She's. Uh, I have to change, teacher. Ah, okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. You have to complete the idea, not to change. Oh, okay. okay. She's dirty, you know. Um. Uh, to. To. To cook. Uh. A dessert. Okay, I'm kidding here, right? Estamos bromeando aquí. Okay, to cook. Okay, do you understand what is thirsty? A dessert. Thirsty is sedienta, right? Ah, okay. Ay, es confundido con... <laughs> okay, thirsty is sedienta. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, so yeah, to drink uh, a water. To drink water. Drink... Mm, okay, but uh, a little or a lot of water? Uh, to drink a lot of water. A lot of water, very good. Botellón, right? <laughs> good. Mariano, Mariano wants to participate. Or oh, you have a question, Mariano? To participate, teacher. Okay, good. She isn't hungry enough. She isn't hungry enough to eat a piece of pizza. <laughs> a, a piece, right? Or oh, a slice, a slice. Uh -huh. A slice, a slice. A slice of pizza. Uh-huh, okay, a slice is a little portion, right? So it's, yes. he isn't hungry enough a triangle. to yes. eat a slice of pizza. Very good, it's a good idea, I like it. Thank you, Mariano. Okay, okay number five, please. Dino, help me, Dino. All right, Dino. Okay. Uh, Carla Vanessa. Yes. yes. Carla Vanessa. Okay, come on. Number five. The movie was interesting enough to see it again. To see it again. Good, excellent. Also, right? Good. Thank you. Ah, the, the bell. Yeah. I forgot the bells. <laughs> okay, number six, right? Number six, let me see. Dino is sleeping. Okay, let me see. Aminda. Come on, Aminda. Okay, um, the movies wasn't exciting enough to see. <laughs> To see. Okay. Yeah. 
That's okay to see. Now, uh, Rosemary, do you have a commentary? I have a question because I don't know if you get, but we we are talking about movies or television. You use watch and not see. It's correct or it's only... Uh, okay. Uh, you can use both, but there is a little difference. When you see, you don't pay attention. You just use your eyes, right? Okay. For example, when you are walking or when you're driving, you see a lot of things around. But when you take your time to, to, to see in details, right? You can say watch or observe or look. When you look something, when you observe something, when you watch something is more specific, right? And see is used in a general way, but it's also acceptable. You, you can, it's very common people say, let's go to see a movie, right? But you can also say, watch a movie. But in, in, the, in the, cost, the custom is that when you see a movie on TV, you watch a movie. And when you go to the movie theater, you see a movie, right? But in practice, in real life, you can use both to see and to watch. Both are acceptable in English, right? Understand, Ana Maria? Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Good, let's go to the last exercise, right? Let's go to the last exercise. Create statements using the following adjectives, right? So we are going to do something. Uh, let me see, I will, no, 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 it's uh, volunteers again. Yes, volunteers again, right? Uh, We're going to create five sentences. Yeah, five, five sentences is, is enough. <laughs> Five sentences is enough, right? So uh, the first sentence, please. You are going to create the full sentence, right? Volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, Mariano. Carlos. Ah, Carlos. Oh, hoy sí lo confundí, Carlos. Ah. Okay. This car is cheap enough to buy right now. Okay, nice. Another sentence, please. Me, teacher, Lazily. Ah, Lazily. Come on, Lazily. Um... I don't feel comfortable enough to stay at the party. To stay at? The party. The party. Stay at the party. Thank you. Excelentoso. Vanessa, please. Vanessa, no me. If that coffee isn't sweet enough to me. Okay, that coffee isn't sweet enough. So you look, you like a lot of sugar, right? In your coffee, Vanessa. Good. Yes, did you? Okay, nice. Number four, uh, and and sometimes we we drink coffee, right? Eh, algunas personas toman café para no para que no les dé sueño, right? Toman eh, cuando alguien toma café no puede dormir, ¿sí? Pero a mí me pasa lo contrario. Cuando estoy dormido no puedo tomar café. Yeah, sorry. Okay, number four, please. Number four. The document. Ajá. Uh -huh. Name. Trini. Trini. Hello, Trini. Hoy sí, le reconocí la voz, Trini. Ajá. Uh -huh. The document. The document is very important enough for meeting. For the meeting. Okay, listen. Uh, Trini introduced a new word, right? An intensifier. Can we use intensifiers in this topic? Yes or no? So, very, 
pretty, quiet. Those are intensifier, right? Can we use intensifiers, yes or no? Um, I feel a no, because enough is uh, modified in the adjective in this case. Okay, let me see. Let's trans translate the, the idea. El documento es muy, impo muy importante, suficiente. Mm, sounds real, right? Suena un poquito raro, sí. Vamos a ver con so. The document is so important enough. Es lo suficientemente importante. Sí, suena raro. Pero lo voy a investigar, honestamente. Porque en inglés suena bien. Very important enough. Me suena bien en inglés. Ok, Trini, lo vamos a dejar afuera por ahorita. Yo voy a investigar si se puede o no se puede, ¿ok? Yes. Sí, porque estamos usando en off, ¿verdad? Ok. Sí, por la lógica, yes. Ok. Vamos a dejarlo así, pero si se puede, les voy a avisar yo. O si no hay en el grupo, les voy a mandar la información, ¿ok? Good. The last one, please. The last one. Volunteers. Ok. Yvette. Oh, Ever too, right? Okay, so Yvette number five and Ever number six. Come on, Yvette. Okay. Um, is it is early enough to go to sleep? <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Estoy bromeando. Uh-huh, repeat. <laughs> it is early enough. It is early enough. To go to sleep. Okay, uh, and now, ah, uh, yes, to go to sleep. Okay, good example. Thank you, Ever. Now, Ever? Now, only the, the, the chair. It isn't. Comfortable enough to see it. To see it, right? Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let me see. Um, por aquí tenía un. Um, Una herramienta de dictado, se la voy a probar la próxima clase. Porque uno va hablando y la, el, la computadora va escribiendo. Ah, aquí está, ve, dictar, yes. Probemos, Eve, probemos, yes. Vamos a probar, a ver si funciona, yes. Ok, ready, Ever, me va a repetir la oración. Ok. The chair. No, no puso lo que era. The chair isn't comfortable enough. Ah, ok. No, see. no, no, no. Sorry, no, no funciona. No funciona. No sé qué pasó. Déjeme ver. Ever. Es que en Word sí se puede. En Word ya lo probé. Vamos a ver. Voy a, voy a probar yo, Ever. Go ahead. The chair is good. Ah, ok. Is good enough? <laughs> yes, ah, pues sí se puede, se puede. Vamos a ver. Y está en inglés, mire. Es buena herramienta. Teacher. Lo pueden probar en su computadora, yes. Teacher, yo creo que no le va a funcionar porque a usted le funciona porque le es el receptor de su de su computadora. Ah, ok. El de él es diferente, entonces él viene, proviene de otra computadora, entonces no le va a reflejar ah, ahí. Ah, ok. Sounds logic. Es, suena súper lógico. Evera, pues no me puede. I'm so, sorry. Okidoki, okidoki. <laughs> ok, the chair. Isn't, you say, right? Comfortable enough. Enough to sit. Pero voy a hacer el intento. Suena más lento. 
Voy a probarlo yo entonces. Vamos a hacer la... la es que... It's a challenge for me. Es, es, un, es un reto. Vamos a ver. The chair isn't... Comfortable enough to sit. No, forget it, forget it. Perdón. Perdón, aquí estamos inventando. Ok, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. En Word me funciona mejor. Yes, the chair isn't comfortable to sit. Ok, good. Thank you very much. Now, any extra question? We finished, right? But if you have any extra question, tell me, please, tell me. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Very good. Now, extra practice. Let's go to extra practice. Okie dokie. Extra. extra practice, yes. <laughs> extra no, practice it... is enough. Oh, yes. You got bored, right? <laughs> Le aburrió un poquito, eh? Sorry. No, yeah. solo estoy practicando. <laughs> oh, okay, good. <laughs> you have enough with enough. <laughs> okay, class. Let me see a little bit bigger. I guess here is the. Yes, okay, good. Now, and the Oscar goes, the Oscar goes to Oscar. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to listen, right? Uh, some information about some Hollywood favorite, right? And we have four, four parts, sorry, for information, right? So we're going to guess, adivina, right? We're going to guess the actress, the actor, or the movie, right? The first one, for example, he's a famous American actor. Ah, he's, a, he's an actor, it's not a movie, right? Or he's not an actor, he's a man, right? So, but let's listen to the audio, let's listen to the audio. Pedro, page 89, part A. Listen to people talk about some of their Hollywood favorites. Can you guess the actress, actor, or movie each person is describing? One, he's a famous American actor who is also a successful director and producer. He won the Oscar for Best Motion Picture in 2013 with Argo, which he directed and co-produced. Two, the first movie in the series came out in 1977. It's a science fiction fantasy that has become a blockbuster franchise. The story takes place a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Three. I really like animated movies, and the third one in this series is my favorite. It's about a boy's toys that have a secret life full of adventures when they are alone. Four. She's an actress that is excellent in both dramas and comedies. I loved her in Mamma Mia and The Devil Wears Prada. In 2011, she won her third Oscar for her performance in The Iron Lady. Good. Number one. Who is the actor in number one? Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Woohoo! Yeah, very good. Who say Ben Affleck, uh, Carlos, right? Carlos? Yes. 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 Yeah, you see? Congratulations, you know our movies, good. Number two. What is the name of this movie? Star Wars. Star Wars. Two, 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 two. May the force be with you, right? I'm your father, okay? Star Wars, very good. And number three. Toy Story. Toy Story 3, right? Okay, that's it, Toy Story, right? Because it says, and the third one, la tercera, you know? 
is my favorite. It says, so Toy Story 3, that's it, right? Thank you. And number four, oh, wait. Number four. Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep, who say that? Yvette. Yvette. Okay, Yvette, you know about movies. Yeah. Mama Mia. Once it was again, Mama. Yeah, it's a nice movie too. It's a musical, right? It's a musical. Okay, let me see. What time is it? My goodness. Yes, we, ha we have to go to the manual. We have to go to the manual. Excuse me. Uh, let me see. Here's the manual, right? Okay, class. How to use enough to modify additive, right? So we practice this and then we're going to go to this exercise, right? Oops, okay. Describe the mobile brands below, mobile, no, mo mobile, uh -huh. the mobile brands below using an adjective plus enough, right? So we have four, LG, Sony Xperia, iPhone, and Samsung, right? Notice that we can use, for example, friendly enough, competitive enough, good enough, fast enough, professional enough, modern enough, high-end, high-end, that means uh, high-end refers to, to quality, good quality and high price. Good quality and high price is high-end, high-end, right? Okay, so um, volunteers, yes, volunteers. LG. Remember, LG is also TVs, refrigerator, uh, washing machines, telephones too, right? Cell phones, yes. Uh -huh. uh, kitchen, I mean, I uh, no, no, uh, stoves, no, I. Ah, no, air conditions too, yes. LG is air conditions too, right? So, can you give me one, one sentence using LG? LG is a good enough brand. Okay, LG is... Good enough brand. Uh-huh, but let me see, is a good enough brand? Mm. No, I guess the, the, the context, the context. Okay, who's talking to me? What's your name? Yvette. Yvette, okay, Yvette. Thank you, Yvette. Sorry, I don't recognize your voice, but so uh, you can say, for example, um, a quality of LG. But don't say brand. Don't say brand. Maybe the cell phone LG are fast enough. LG cell phones are fast enough. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, thank you very much, uh, Yvette. Do you agree, Beth? Yes. Okay, good. Or oh, you can use other, right? For example, uh, LG air conditioners are good enough, for example, right? Good, so, oh, fast enough. Sony Xperia. Volunteers, Sony Xperia. Sony, yes, teacher. Uh -huh, please. Um, I bought a smart TV, but isn't cheap enough. Okay, I bought a Sony Xperia TV. Mm -hmm. Come on, come uh, on, say. I bought. I bought a Sony Xperia TV, but isn't cheap enough. Good, thank you. Isn't cheap enough, right? Uh, Sony Xperia is a TV, right? Okay, good. Now, iPhone, right? <clears throat> iPhones. The, the iPhone is uh, competitive enough for a high-end market. 
I iPhone is competitive enough again for a high for a high end market for a high market iPhone mm -hmm. is competitive enough for a high market yes excellent very good nice and the last one Samsung refrigerators uh, stoves cell phones TVs too right TVs tablets tablets I remember tablet is, is a, a good brand right for Samsung good Domingo Samsung is uh, the product uh, the price uh, high price Okay, so if it is high prime, what is the adjective we can use, Domingo? I need an adjective. Uh, launch. Look how now. Mm. No, I don't get it, Domingo. Repeat. Uh, Okay, I will uh, give you some examples. Can you, look, user-friendly, competitive, good. Can be the tablet Samsung is a uh, professional enough. Okay, good. For using in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the Samsung tablets are professional enough to use at work, right? To use at work, at work. good? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, do you agree, Domingo? Yes? Do you agree? Está de acuerdo, Domingo? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Teacher, okay. yes, how do me. you say ahorrativo? Saving. Saving, saving enough. Uh -huh. The free sanction is saving enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Saving enough. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, that's it, right? And we can go to many brands, right? The Toyota. Uh, um, uh, what else? Uh, oh, there are a lot of brands, right? That we can talk about here, right? Good. So that is the the sorry the the manual. Let me see. If we have an extra exercise. No, the exercise six is for tomorrow. Yes, for we're going to see it tomorrow. So. Now we're going to finish the class with a, a listening exercise, right? A listening exercise. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Now it says, listen to two critics, Nicole and Anthony, talk about a new movie, right? They're talking about a new movie. Check the features, acting, story, writing, music, love story, special effects of the movie that they discuss. They are two extra features. So in other words, Nicole and Anthony are going to talk about these features, but Two features, they are not going to talk about those two features, right? Which ones are the correct? So listen, please. Page 90. Welcome to At The Movies. I'm Nicole Reeves. And I'm Anthony Hale. Good evening. Tonight, we're going to review the new James Bond film, well, I really liked this new James Bond actor very, very much. Mm hmm He's the best actor that's ever had the role. Warm, human, even funny. A totally believable character. I have to agree. A perfect 007 type. Nicole, what did you think of the story? It was the standard Bond movie that has the usual beautiful women, the usual evil villain, nothing new. Well, I'm surprised. I have to say that I thought the story was unusually good. The race car scenes were exciting, and the surprise ending was great. Well, I can't agree with you there. 
I thought the story was pretty obvious, and I wasn't surprised at all by that twist at the end. Really? What did you think about the music? I was impressed by the music. It was the classic James Bond theme with a modern twist. I couldn't agree more. I haven't heard such interesting music in a movie in a long time. It really added to the action scenes. Yes, but unfortunately, that brings up a weakness in the film for me. The special effects. Again, it's just the same old stuff. The car that flies, the pen that's really a gun. You get tired of that kind of thing. Nicole, I have to disagree with you there. I have to say that the special effects were the best that I've ever seen in a Bond film. So, Anthony, overall, how do you rate this new James Bond movie? Well, Nicole, I'd have to say that I'm proud to give this movie my highest rating, four stars. And I would like to encourage everyone to go and see it. How about you, Nicole? You did like the new actor who plays James Bond. That part's true, Anthony. However, I have to give the movie only two stars, a rating of fair. Hmm. Well, that's all from us tonight. See you next week. Okay, volunteers, please. Just tell me yes or no, right? Did they mention acting? Yes. Yes. Did they, did they mention story? Yes. 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 Did they mention writing? No. Yes. Yes, yes or no? No. No, right? No, they didn't mention right. Did they mention music? Yes. Yes. Did they mention love story? No. No. No, no, right? Did they mention special effects? Yes. 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 yes, yes. Okay, good. Now we're going to uh, go to the next part, right? Uh, you're going to tell what is Nicole's opinion about every situation, about acting, about a story, about music, about special effects, right? And for this, we're going to see the script, right? Listen again, and let's see the script, right? Here we go. Page 90. Page 90. Exercise 12. Listening at the movies. Part A. Listen to two critics. Nicole and Anthony talk about a new movie. Check the features of the movie that they discuss. There are two extra features. Welcome to At The Movies. I'm Nicole Reeves. And I'm Anthony Hale. Good evening. Tonight, we're going to review the new James Bond film. Well, I really liked this new James Bond actor very, very much. Mm-hmm. He's the best actor that's ever had the role. Warm, human, even funny. A totally believable character. I have to agree, a perfect 007 type. Nicole, what did you think of the story? It was the standard Bond movie that has the usual beautiful women, the usual evil villain, nothing new. Well, I'm surprised. I have to say that I thought the story was unusually good. The race car scenes were exciting, and the surprise ending was great. Well, I can't agree with you there. I thought the story was pretty obvious, and I wasn't surprised at all by that twist at the end. Really? What did you think about the... Okay. Uh, let's just stop for a moment. So what is Nicole's opinion about the acting? It's a great acting. Okay, it's a great. Exciting. Okay, nice. And what is Anthony's opinion about the acting? He's a great. A great actor, right? Nice. And how about the story? What is Nicole's opinion about the story? It's very obvious. Very obvious, right? Again, the same. Billion, the same uh, beautiful girl, the same, you know, W07, you know. Uh, yes, this, uh, the, the super agent. 
the super agent, yes. The same guy, right? And, and how about Anthony? Does he like the story? Yes, it's he, her fabulous history. Okay, very good. So let's continue, right? Let's talk about music. Listen, uh, the opinion of, of Nicole. Music. I was impressed by the music. It was the classic James Bond theme with a modern twist. I couldn't agree more. I haven't heard such interesting music in a movie in a long time. It really added to the action scenes. Yes, but unfortunately, that brings up a weakness in the film for me. The special effect. Okay, let's go to the music. What is Nicole's opinion about the music? The classic. Uh-huh. Okay. She was impressed. She was impressed by the music, right? The same music, but impressed. And how about Anthony? He doesn't like the music. Not too much, right? Anthony. I remember Candy when I... <laughs> Anthony. Okay. And the, the last one, the special effects, right? Listen, please. Again, it's just the same old stuff. The car that flies, the pen that's really a gun. You get tired of that kind of thing. Nicole, I have to disagree with you there. I have to say that the special effects were the best that I've ever seen in a Bond film. So, Anthony, overall, how do you rate this new... That's okay, right? That's enough. So, what is Nicole's opinion about special effects? What does she think? She's tired. She's tired. About the same kind of things. The car that flies, the pen that is a gun, right? Okay, the same, right? What about Anthony? What is Anthony's opinion? Anthony. Anthony, he's fascinated with the special effects of the movie. He's fascinated, right, with that. I'm fascinated. Good, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. I don't know if you have any extra question for the class tonight. Okay, thank you, everybody, for your participation. Now, uh, Oscar Arnulfo, you're going to stay with me, please. 10 extra minutes. For the rest, I will take the attendance and you just say goodbye, right? You just say good night. Trini? Present. Good. Have a good night, Trini. Aminda? Present. Good. God bless you. Ana Maria? Present. Good. Bye bye. Carlos? Present. Good. Have a good night, Carlos. Uh, Claudia Guadalupe? Nice. You're paying attention, Claudia Guadalupe. Thank you. Domingo? Present. Good. Bye bye. God bless you. Ever? Present teacher. Good. Thank good you. Good night. Good night. Uh, Jose Roberto? Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Benazir? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Carla. And Carla Vanessa? Good night, teacher. Good night. Uh, Laisley? Present. Good. Thank you, Laisley. Have a good night. God bless you. Uh, Leticia? Present, teacher. Good. Thank you. Bye bye. Mariano? Mariano? Present teacher, present. Okay, present. good. Bye bye, Mariano. Oscar? Bye bye. Here. Good. Rosemary? Present teacher, good, good. night. Good night. Uh, Rosibel? Present teacher, good night. Good night. Sonia Ivet? Present and good night. Good night. Thank you. Vanessa? Present. Have a good night, teacher. You as well. You as well. Thank you. Walter Omar. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Wendy. Present. Good night. Good night. Vicky. Miriam. Miriam. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Good Thank night. you. Have a good night. God bless you. 
Thank you. Okay, Chamba. Chamba. Okay, Debbie. Good. Bye bye, Debbie. Good night. Good night. Jorge. Present teacher. Good. Thank you very much, Jorge. Have a good night. God bless you. Uh, good night. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, Oscar. Welcome. Welcome Hello. To, to the personal class, right? Hello. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Normally in the United States, people don't say, I am fine. No, they say, I'm doing well. Very yeah. nice. So I'm okay, they say. Good. Okay. Uh, Oscar, do you have any question or any topic that we want uh, you want to discuss tonight? Something that sure. you can uh, Can you give me or can you give on the book for a presentation when they show uh, any structure with the many, many adjectives, many how do you say? Quantifiers. Pre preposition, can, would, should. Ah, uh, you, you mean in, in, uh, models? Yes. Models. Uh, 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 see, uh, dice, a mí me cuesta. Uh, it's, it's hard for me. It's difficult for it, me. It, it's difficult for me. I remember to the, the every island when okay, you... Good. We, we haven't seen any any of this structure. The only yes. model that we were working is wood, right? Wood, but we would rather. So I will give you a general explanation, even if it's not in the topic, right? Aunque no lo hemos visto, right? I will give you uh, some explanation. But sí. I need you give me a, you give me some patience because uh, I have problems to use the to use the the board. Me cuesta usar la pizarra. Okay, no problem. Let me see. Vamos a ver si, si lo podemos hacer. Sí. Yes. No, okay. pero, pero mi problema es que veremos que como son tantas cosas que uno ve así regadas en un, en un módulo en otro, tal vez mm -hmm. si se puede poner a una sola presentación todas esas situaciones. Ok. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, y ahí me... uno... Sí. Let me tell you this. Déjeme decirle esto, eh, Oscar. El tema es bastante amplio, entonces se tendría que ver poquito a poquito, pero este, hay, un, hay un video, permítame, voy a anotarlo porque si no se me va a olvidar, donde aparecen los modos. Entonces lo que voy a hacer yo es enviarle ese video a su número personal. Ok. Modas en auxiliares. Y ahora le voy a dar una pequeña explicación, ¿verdad? Sí, para que usted vaya preguntándome por qué es aquí y por qué es allá. Así que vamos a aprovechar estos, estos minutitos. Ok, auxiliaries. Vamos a ver, es que esto es lo que me cuesta, que no sé por qué no puedo escribir como yo quisiera aquí. Bueno, vamos a ver. Primero le doy grande. Ahí estamos, ¿ven? Ahora... Quiero escribir algo. Ahí estamos, ¿ves? ¿eh? Ya vamos aprendiendo, Oscar. Los okay. auxiliares que hay en inglés son el verbo to be. Este es uno, ¿verdad? Quiero ver. Ahí está. Puedo regresar, ¿ves? pero lo que no puedo es seguir en la siguiente línea, mira. No. Es que yo espero como que fuera este Word, pero no. Ah, pues hay que utilizar Word. Pero sí, ¿verdad? Tiene razón, vamos a usar Word. ¿Por qué no? Yeah. <risa> Ok, qué práctico usted, Oscar. Lo felicito. <ríe> Va, déjeme ver. Mejor, mejor lo viejo conocido. Que sí, lo viejo tiene conocido. razón. Va, déjeme mm. ver. Cerrar pizarra. Y permítame entonces. Um, este, solo que no sé cómo hacer. Permítame, Oscar, que. Ahí estamos, ahí estamos. Voy a hacer la pantalla pequeña y me voy a un Word. Abrimos el Word. Siempre sí, más fácil. ¿Por qué no me había ocurrido antes en lugar de estar usando la pizarra? Vaya, ahorita le comparto, ahorita le comparto. For the, for the future. For the future, yes, you're right. You're right, you're right. 
Um, solo que aquí estamos compartiendo. Hoy sí, ahí estamos, ok. Ahí va. Aquí sí, nos vamos a dar gusto, ok. Auxiliaries. Ok. Auxiliaries. ¿Cuáles son los auxiliares? Son el verbo to be, para comenzar. En pasado y en presente, ¿verdad? Eh, was, where. Was, where. Eh, um, are, is, being, okay. también en la forma eh, progresiva, ¿verdad? Luego tenemos el do, el das, que son ah. familiares, y el did, cuando hablamos de verbos para en acción, ¿sí? En acción y para... Ajá. Para el presente y para el pasado. Pasado, exacto. Sí, ok. Y tenemos el verbo have, has, has. y had para las formas perfectas. Perfecta. Presente perfecto, futuro perfecto, eh, etcétera, etcétera. Pasado perfecto. Entonces, estas son los auxiliares. Sí, vale. entonces a mí eso es lo que me cuesta diferenciar. Vale, yo le voy a, yo le voy a explicar, pero por favor no se le va a olvidar esto. Los auxiliar, yo no sé si está suficientemente grande o... No, no, está bien, está bien. Espere, lo voy a hacer más, más grande. No, pero para mí está bien. Va, ah, ok, muy bien. Entonces, los auxiliares eh, se utilizan en inglés porque en español, Oscar, eh, nosotros utilizamos la conjugación del verbo, ¿sí? O sea, nosotros en español el verbo es todo. Sí. Usted si quiere puede omitir el sujeto. Puedo decir, por ejemplo, bebo. ¿Quién bebe? Yo. Yo bebo. Entonces no es necesario decir yo. Y aparte de eso, cuando usted dice bebo, dice que lo hace en presente. Futuro sí. beberé. Pasado be bebí. Y entonces, esa situación de conjugación del verbo no existe en inglés. El verbo es plano. Entonces, ¿qué hacen ellos? Ellos utilizan auxiliares ¿Verdad? O, diferenciar. o modas para indicar que la acción que usted está eh, poniendo ahí o es negativa, o es pregunta, o es pasado, o es presente. Sí. En lugar de conjugar los verbos, lo que ellos usan es el auxiliar. ¿Sí? ¿Entiende okay. el concepto? Ya. Yeah. Va, hasta ahí estamos bien. Muy bien. Ya, ya, ya hasta ahí estamos. Ahora bien. Más, bien. más claros que ayer. Va, muy bien. <ríe> Dentro de los auxiliares hay otro grupo que son como primos. Algunas gramáticas inclusive les dicen que los modas también son auxiliares y, y es, es correcto, ¿verdad? Pero yo en mi caso los diferencio los auxiliares con los modas en lo siguiente. ¿ven? Los auxiliares son más generales, son más amplios. En cambio que los modas, que son para mí los primos de los auxiliares, son más específicos, tienen una función bien específica, ¿sí? Y comenzamos con el should. El should lo utilizamos cuando usted quiere dar un consejo o quiere expresar algo que la otra persona hace, pero lo hace de una forma amable. Tú deberías, tú deberías hacer ejercicio, Exacto. tú deberías eh, tomar más agua, tú, should, ¿verdad? Have to. Aquí es más obligación, mire. Tú tenés que, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Eh, y el must, que es, este sí es una obligación. Imperativo. Tenés que hacerlo, ¿verdad? tenés que hacerlo. Uh -huh. Have to es okay. obligación, pero no es 100% imperativo. En cambio que el must sí uh -huh. es bien imperativo, sí es bien fuerte, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. Y el would, que es otro de los modos que usamos, es el pasado del want, Want es Fine. presente, will es futuro y would, y would es el pasado del want, ¿sí? Entonces, cuando usted dice yo quiero, usted dice I want, pero si usted I dice want. yo quisiera, yo quisiera. Would, would. would, y este se usa, would. bueno, ya vimos un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Cuando yo digo yo quisiera que me sirviera café, yo quisiera que me ayudara en mi tarea, ¿sí? Yo quisiera, I would. Would, would. would. Y el que sí. vimos, would rather, cuando hablamos de una, eh, preferir una cosa sobre la otra, ¿verdad? Sobre la otra. Aunque okay. eso sí o sea. lo quedó claro, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Es sí, que como lo digo, sí, a, a, de tanto que hay, o sea, ¿cuál Sí, uso? sí, yo entiendo. Pero ahorita lo estamos viendo en forma general. Sí, luego, vamos para, luego vamos con el will. El will se usa para futuro en general, pero es menos probable que el going to. ¿Sí? Ah, ok. El going to es más probable, es más seguro y se usa para planes. Si usted dice, yo mañana voy a ir a trabajar. I am going to work. Ya tiene usted planificado eso. 
ya está seguro, aunque solo el colocho lo, lo decide, pero usted ya hizo sus planes, ¿verdad? Going to. Entonces, going el will to. y el going to se usan para el futuro. Prácticamente going to es lo voy a hacer y will lo podría hacer. Lo podría hacer, correcto. Inclusive el will puede unirlas con, eh, con palabras como perhaps, maybe, probably, ¿sí? En cambio que con el going to no diga I, I, will, I, going to. I am going to probably go to... No, 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 no va, no va. El going to es más seguro, ¿sí? Más okay. seguro. Y por cierto, el... el el verbo, el presente simple también se puede usar como futuro, pero cuando habla de horarios y de, de horarios, sí, cuando habla de horarios solamente, sí. En otra estructura. ¿eh? Vaya, sí, pero el... Otro cuidado que hay que tener. Sí, sí, correcto, pero no es muy común. Por ejemplo, el bus sale a las tres. Bus leaves at three. Ya está hablando el futuro vale. y estoy usando el presente simple, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Vaya, muy bien, sigamos. Could. El could... Eh, se puede usar en varias formas, ¿verdad? Eh, como posibilidad, principalmente. Yo podría, por ejemplo, podría. I could travel to Mexico tomorrow. Yo podría, tengo, tú, ten, podría tener la posibilidad. La posibilidad. I could, ¿sí? Que es el pasado del Ken, ¿sí? ¿Ok? Ken. El, hablando de Ken, Ken. Se, se usa para habilidades. Habilidades mm. y posibilidades. Sí, por ejemplo, yo puedo decirle, I can go to the party. Yo puedo ir a la fiesta. Y cuando hablamos de posibilidades, usamos los dos, el could y el can. Solo que el could es más amable. Sí. Ah, ok. Sí. Y, se pide, y se, también para permiso. Usted puede para decir, permiso. Go? ¿podría yo ir? Uh -huh. en, en cambio que el can, para pedir permiso es más fuerte. ¿va? Sí, es como obligación. Entre familia. ¿no? Entre familia. Por ejemplo, usted le I, Father, can I go to the bathroom? Entonces ya es... Con más confianza. Mm. El CUD es más, eh, dijéramos, un poquito más suave. Y el más suavecito de todos es May. May. Ese se usa para permisos. ¿Sí? Mm. May I go to the bathroom? ¿Ok? Y también mm. para posibilidades, pero menos probables. Posibles. Menos, menos posibles. Probable. Este es de las menos menos. No, okay. Y el May y el Might, que es el pasado de May. Might es el pasado de May. Se usan exactamente iguales. Igualito. Lo único, que, lo único que para pasado. Sí, pero, pero, o sea, o, cuando usted pide puede... permiso. Make. Sí, may. Usted... May, may, may. Ajá. Es lo mismo. El may y el may se usan exactamente igual en, en inglés, ¿sí? Ok. Va. Y luego okay. está el ought to, que es como un debería, pero un debería más suave. I ought to go to the doctor. Yo tengo que ir donde el doctor. Ah, es el mismo, no. es el mismo have to, Going. pero suave. Ok. Sí, have to. Oh, two. Oh, two. Ok, oh. y luego tenemos eh, show. El show que es exactamente el will, es el mismo will, solo que es más usado por los británicos. El show. No. Shall sí, I go no to the party? Shall I go to the party? Es como... Uh, eh, yo eh, iría a la fiesta, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver si se me escapa alguno. Quiero ver. Can, should, could, could, might. Eh, ought to, have to. No sé si se me escapa alguno, eh, Oscar. Pues está la mayoría, creo yo. De sí, la situación. mayoría. Entonces, sí. vaya, regresemos a la idea principal. Los auxiliares se utilizan en una forma más general. Y está el verbo to be, el presente, futuro, pasado. El do y el das, que es para el presente. Y el did, que es para el pasado. Y las formas perfectas. Todos estos son los auxiliares. ¿Sí? No hay más. Ahí no hay más. Y los modos tienen un uso específico. ¿Sí? Unos para pedir permiso. Otros para demostrar posibilidades. Otros para eh, mostrar habilidades para permisos, para futuras acciones, ¿verdad? Ok. Ahí sería no. una forma general, pero eh, como le digo, voy a, voy a buscar un video en donde se me okay. explica un poquito más, más amplio, ¿verdad? Porque aquí se lo hice yo en... No, no, está, está sí, correcto. Rápido, o sea, y, y gracias, como le digo, porque a mí... Es que esto me confunde. Confunde, confunde, definitivamente. confunde sí. No. 
Eh, es igual cuando intento utilizar also. Porque, no, eh, pero also es un adverbio. Sí, no. Entonces, ese tipo de cosas. O Vaya, because, o, o, otra cosa, o un... Oscar, las, los adverbios y las preposiciones son un poco confusas. Y también este, en los phrasal verbs, que a mí me cuestan mucho porque los estadounidenses para todos usan un phrasal verb, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, también llevan preposiciones y también ellos le llaman particles, que son partículas o pedacitos Partículas. que van complementando sí. al verbo, ¿no? Y tengo entendido que no tienen, muchos no tienen traducción lógica. ¿verdad? Algunos no tienen, correcto, eh, no. significado lógico, ¿verdad? Exacto. Sí. Va, entonces, no. eh, como okay. el, hay muchas cosas muy difíciles, ¿verdad? Pero, <risa> pero más o menos ahí le tiene una, una idea. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta sobre alguno de estos modos. No, no, estamos bastante bien. Bueno, esperemos tener paciencia y seguir aprendiendo. Sí, sí. Eh, es, es larga. Yo le recomiendo eh, que busque una gramática en internet. Sí, porque gramática. lástima que no tenemos clases presenciales. Yo, si usted estuviera en una clase presencial, le, mire, sáquele copia a este libro porque tengo un montón de gramática. Ah, okay. pero, pero sí en internet puede buscar una gramática ¿Verdad? Sí. Este, y, y ahí busca el uso de los modos. Póngale así, mire, modos. Modos, ok. Y, y auxiliares, ¿verdad? No, Para... Ok. Sí, ok. Y uh, el consejo de la noche, eh, watch English movies, listen to music in English, please, Oscar. And eh, in YouTube, also, you can practice with audiobooks in English, right? Audiobooks. Audiobooks, yes, in YouTube. Oh, really? Yes, okay. it's very common. There are a lot of books for children, for adults. Uh, for example, sí. The Little Princess, El, El Principito, is in English. Uh -huh. You can go to YouTube and you copy The Little Princess audiobook. Audiobook. Yes. Okay. And you can practice, practice, and practice, right? And okay. so what is your opinion about the class? Do you have any recommendation or something, Oscar? It's really very well. Uh, I like Tomas. I like an oak. Huh? Okay. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it enough. You don't uh, go in group. Ah, okay. Yes. A veces, o sea, muchos compañeros ustedes no tienen la cámara encendida. Entonces uno ni se logra interaccionar con ellos. A veces cuando se hacen grupos. Yeah. They don't participate. Uh -huh. I understand Exactamente. that. Exactamente. Entonces, yeah, cuando... I sometimes push. Algunas veces, pues, se fijó ayer que yo les di el consejo, ¿verdad? De que me ayudaran. Mm -hmm. eh, sí, no. ¿Verdad? Porque no. a mí me gusta la clase interactiva, que todos participen, porque si no... Sí, no. Deberíamos de poner a Dino a que participe más. <risa> y a más a... Ok. Very good. <risa> ok, Oscar. Ok, teacher. Thank you okay. very much. Have a good night. Have a good night, and, too. And say hello to your, little, to your beautiful princess, right? <risa> so three, three princes. Three. three. So you yeah, have three yeah. girls. Yes. Three girls. Yeah. My Three goodness, girls, congratulations. One, one uh, 14 years, uh, the middle nine years, and the <laughs> last uh, four years. Four years. Yeah. I have Sophie, my Sophie is nine years. Yes. Nine yes. years. Yes. Sophie is nine years. Sophie so is in, nine in years. your Sophie, how old is your Sophie? Oh. Donde? Uh, you say your one of your girls is named Sophia, right? Yeah. Yes, okay. Sofia. How old is mm. Sofia? How old is Sofia? How old? Uh -huh. no. Nine. 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 Okay. Nine. Same Nine. age. Nine. La misma edad que mi Sofia. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Nueve años, sí. En, en, este mes cumple los diez ya. Yes. Ah, ok. Perfect. This yes. uh, hey, el otro año. Marzo. Ok. Ok. <laughs> ok, teacher. Well, thank Un you. Un gusto. Ok, Feliz bye noche. bye. God bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye.